Hello, it's Adrian from SoFeast here. I'm going to take you through the short presentation and introduce AI product design tools. Let's get started by showing you some concepts that we made using AI tools. So I repeat, this was all AI and nothing to do with humans whatsoever. So you can see we've got a games controller. We've got a jug for heating liquids. We've got a vaporizer, what looks like a rice cooker, water bottle with filter, a smart charging device. I mean, all of these futuristic designs, very stylish and produced by AI. And if you're thinking, well, I want a piece of that, how do we do it? Well, we're going to show you in this presentation how we used two AI tools to create these different design concepts. And I'm pretty sure you can do it too. So let's introduce the AI tools. They're incredibly useful when generating images for product design. Of course, you're going to have an industrial designer and product designers around. And these guys are great at producing lots of good ideas and designs. However, the human mind can be supplemented by AI these days, and we can use AI in some different ways. Conceptualization, so this helps designers in brainstorming and conceptualizing new product designs and generates images based on input parameters or descriptions. So you tell AI what you want, and it's gonna give you concepts, particularly useful in the early stages of product development. So you're gonna come up with your own ideas, sure, but you're gonna use AI to come up with even more design variations. So AI tools can generate multiple design variations based on a single concept, probably faster than an industrial designer can create them. So this allows designers to explore different possibilities quickly and efficiently. And then finally, customization and optimization. For customizable products, AI tools can generate images of the product in different configurations, colors, or styles based on user preferences. AI algorithms can analyze user feedback and design preferences to optimize product designs iteratively. There are a couple of tools that we combined to create those product concepts. ChatGPT probably needs no introduction. And Midjourney, let's start with chat. Well, this works by generating responses based on the input it receives. So you put in some information and give it a prompt and it's going to spit out a bunch of text, which you can then actually use to create prompts for Midjourney. So how do we take that and turn it into images? Well, Midjourney, and this is a popular AI image generation tool. It crafts visual designs from text descriptions, which you've just got from ChatGPT. And typically you're going to use prompts to craft concepts from scratch, blend images, customize individual parts, generate multiple variations, and make small adjustments really easily. Probably, as I said, a lot faster than doing it by hand. So we use forward slash imagine, which generates images based on what you're telling it, and then forward slash blend, which unsurprisingly combines two images or images with text. So let's look at an example. We gave Midjourney the prompt Design a minimalist silicon strap smartwatch featuring neutral colors and numerical details displayed on the screen. This came from ChatGPT. When you're putting in your own prompt, yours is going to be something completely different, but that's roughly what the prompt would look like. So Midjourney came up with these four designs. You can see how they all have their similarities, but they are kind of sticking to the brief that we gave. So we've already got four decisions to make here, which is handy. So we can make a selection of one of the designs, which is the one that you're seeing, and we can start to make some changes to it. We can either make quite drastic changes or subtle changes. And we select the region that we want to edit when we're telling mid journey. So a couple of examples on the left, you see a subtle variation. So prompt, subtle variation on screen, and you can see that the watches, they are all largely similar and they have a similar kind of screen, but they do have different styles. So again, we've got the watch design that we like, and now we have four different 
watch face designs to choose from. On the other hand, on the right, you can see a variation in the regions. So the prompt was brown and metallic numerical details displayed on the screen. And you can see that Midjourney has given us for quite different designs here. So some of them look analog, some of them are digital, some have numbers, some just have hands. So quite some different ideas here to look at. So let's say we've chosen our design, which is the neutral smartwatch, and we wanna blend it. Here we're blending, so forward slash blend, the images that we give to Midjourney. And on the right, we see a rather fancy Rolex. This is a sports watch. So we're going to blend those and see, well, can we make those kind of similar? And what would it look like? And here's the result. So you get four options, which are now neutral kind of smart sports watches. Of course, we're not copying a Rolex, we're not copying anything. We're using this to get product ideas. But the point here is that you're now seeing what your neutral watch concept looks like with sports watch elements, and we're getting some more ideas to look at. So the conclusion, AI tools for generating images can significantly enhance the product design process by accelerating concept development, improving design quality, and increasing customer engagement and satisfaction. And in the few minutes that you've been watching this video, You've already seen that we were able to come up with, you know, four, five, six, seven, eight different concepts based on our idea of designing a smartwatch concept. And you could do the same when you're trying to come up with ideas for your products. So go have a go and get in touch with us. Let us know how you get on. Did you come up with any good ideas by combining these tools? We'd love to hear about it.